it is part four of section 3.1, Chebyshev polynomials. Recall the polynomial interpolation error we studied earlier. If a function is interpolated by a polynomial, nth degree polynomial, at n plus 1 distinct points, then the error can be formulated in this way. Now, uh, once it is small, then error is small. So here, for these terms, we can minimize by choosing here nodal points such that this product is as small as possible. An analysis of this problem was first uh, uh, introduced by uh, Chebyshev and the optimization process uh, leads naturally to a system of polynomials called Chebyshev polynomials. Here we define Chebyshev polynomials. Here t0 of x is 1 and t1 of x is x and recursively we define the Chebyshev polynomials. So for tn we multiply 2x and minus tn minus 1. Here we have explicit uh, forms of tn. t2 is 2x squared minus 1 and t3, t4, uh, t5. We have uh, several of them here. T2, and it includes only also the same T1, T0, T1. And once uh, uh, this uh, subscript is even, then include only even order terms. And if it's odd, then also it's only odd terms. And also one more thing you can observe is that, okay, for the leading questions, is now that is two for t two and t three leading coefficients four and then t four leading coefficients eight which is two t three and t five the leading coefficient is two t four because of this two multiplication it is happening okay okay pictorially we can see uh, these polynomials here that is c T0, the one constant, and T1 start from here and that line, and T2 start from here and end over there, and, and T3 start from here and this cubic uh, polynomial, and T4 is start from here and up and down and end here. So these polynomials end at 1, so that the value at 1 is always 1. And value at minus 1 is start from here, and next one start from here, and next one start from here, and again here, and so on. And now the value, the polynomial is between the ranges from minus 1 to 1 also, the critical points over there is at, at critical points the value is 1 or minus 1 always passing this horizontal line it's touching this horizontal line right that is uh, the properties of Chebyshev polynomial here we see uh, properties of Chebyshev polynomials in a uh, theorem form. Tn of x, the values are always minus 1 to 1 for all uh, point x, and leading coefficients of Tn is 2 to the uh, m minus 1. We saw here from here. Okay. Now, the Chebyshev polynomials has uh, this closed form expression rather than the recursive formula, Tn of x can be obtained by using this closed form uh, uh, formula. 
and also here once uh, you are you choose the points x in 0 to xn between minus 1 to 1 then this product x minus xi product and now in modulus and if you try to get maximum value of that then it's always larger than or equal to 2 to the minus n it is well known so that once we try to minimize uh, the term in error then it cannot be smaller than 2 to the minus uh, n this is always larger than or equal to 2 to the minus n okay it's known and now here the uh, Chepsi polynomial of m plus 1 degree that is the coefficient leading coefficient is uh, 2 to the n now divided by 2 to the n then it can be written in this way um, the Chepsi polynomial of degree m plus 1 has m plus 1 uh, zeros and let's go back to the picture now here for first degree we have one zero and for quadratic we have two and for uh, cubic Chebyshe um, polynomial it is a three uh, zeros and uh, fourth order we have one two three four so that uh, t m plus one has m plus one zeros so that uh, it can be written uh, in this way and because of this division it is a monic polynomial that means the leading coefficient is one uh, so that if we choose xi from the roots of tn plus one uh, then here this product maximum is minimized which is 2 to the minus n okay so here uh, the roots of uh, the tn plus 1 can be also obtained through this formula. So by using these points, yeah, that product, uh, and xi is just uh, used from Chepchef nodes, then this product is 2 to the minus n, which is maximum of the minimum possible value of that mm -mm, product. Okay. Okay, so uh, if we are free to choose points for interpolation, then we can choose a Chepchef node. Okay, here interpolation error theorem, Chepchef nodes. If the nodes are the roots of the Chepchef polynomial t sub m plus one, then the error bound for the nth degree interpolating a polynomial p n with this one. So that for the product, now we can choose uh, 1 over 2 to the n and demand the part is the same as earlier. Okay. Now, uh, let's uh, consider this example. We did this one earlier and now by using Chebyshev polynomial, Chebyshev nodes, we'll try to estimate uh, maximum possible error. f of x is a sine x and uh, by using six uh, points and try to get degree 5 interpolating polynomial. And here we are using uh, Chebyshev node. Then how large is the error on this interval? Okay. Again, the sixth of the derivative uh, must be bounded by sine 1 and so that by using this inequality we can reach uh, this one and then this value is 0 0.000036 so it's about um, here the 4 then now that one is smaller than when we are using equally spaced points earlier in example 3.17 
we analyzed the upper bound of error when we use equally spaced six points. At the moment, the value is this one. Now, by using Chebyshev NARS, we can get uh, here the smaller upper bound. Practically, uh, we can compare the error. Okay, here we have, and now n is 5, 5 serve intervals, so that we try to get the point from 0 to n, so 6 points. Okay, that is now, in the beginning, this is um, equally distributed points, so that uniformly, so we, we say there is x, y, u, and for x, y, u, we try to get the polynomial, so that is u. And uh, now, and here, we try to use the formula uh, here for that one. That is a Chebyshev knot. Okay. For that one, here, and that is uh, by using that, we can uh, uh, find the points. That is now x, y, c. And here, the polynomial is a C. So the polynomial C, and we try to plot a polynomial using uniformly distributed points and polynomial uh, using Chebyshev knowledge. And see here, uh, for the um, uh, polynomial here, we, you, we can see that now, uh, uniformly, not the case, much larger error. In fact, if you try to make a horizontal line passing this one, okay, then you can see this portion is error for Chebyshev knots, and that portion is error for uniform knots. So you can see uh, error is more than half the S we saw from the mathematical analysis. So it becomes better, yet uh, we have some error. However, um, we can get a better uh, interpolation, interpolating polynomial by using Chebyshev knots. Okay? okay, that's the end of the section. Thank you.